guys i am back on the stream because jacob chickering is an ottawa senator so let's go over this trade three draft picks involved so there's a conditional first round pick this year that's top five protected now otherwise a decent chance of missing the playoffs so obviously they want to be careful about that now if they win the draft lottery like remember the rules are different this year so even if they say like finish 15th and let's just say they win a pick and move up 10 spots to top five that's protected so this is kind of genius of them so unless they massively fall off between now and the end of the season let's just say arizona gets the 12th overall pick that's like the worst that's probably the highest they can get like i imagine the highest draft pick now that arizona expects to get this year from ottawa is like in that range if they're lucky, maybe it could be like seven or eight. But Ottawa just got way better acquiring Jacob Chikrin. I don't think many people really understand this player that well. They think, because especially Oilers management, they think he's all offense, no defense. That is not the case at all. And let's look at Jay Fresh's player card here, and we got some tape to dive in as well. From Jay Fresh Hockey on Twitter. Jacob Chikrin, acquired by Ottawa, is a two-way defenseman with a great shot. He plays an effective physical game in his own end. Net front and along the boards, has an active stick and loves to carry the puck. Lacks a bit of creativity when it comes to passing. He's basically a guy that's always in position. You're not actually going to see him activating into the rush that often, but his finishing ability in terms of his shot, very good as well. So 58th percentile of all players in terms of even strike offense and defense, 79th percentile. If you look at his like um, year by year <laughs> stats right here in terms of his war, uh, yeah, his offense completely dropped last season. So last year was basically an outlier. That's kind of why his overall war is a bit lower. Because, like, he's, like, in the 75th percentile usually. And his finishing's high. He's having, a, in terms of just offensively, too, he is having a great year on pace for over 60 points as a blue liner. Wow, Ottawa now has Shabbat, Sanderson, and Chickering now. Now, that's what intrigues me. Like, because what I've been... Craig Morgan went on the PDO cast with Dmitry Filipovich, and he thinks that he Chikrin isn't really good at should be playing on the right side. So does that mean Sanderson's going to slide over? Shabbat's going to slide over? How they work with that will be fascinating. But wh this is insane, man. I can't believe they made this work. Let's look, dive into even more of the deeper micro stats here for Chikrin this season. So what he really excels at is our chances, shots, you know, primary shot assists, neutral zone shot assists. Entry rate, denial rate, uh, so entry denial rate is decently high, but possession entry prevention, 90th percentile in the league. Offense, <laughs> rush offense, 100th percentile. Among the best players basically in the league, chance contributions, shot contributions. You know, he's now going to be playing with the likes of Tim Stutzla, Brady Kachuk, Claude Giroux, Alex Debrinkat, Trick Batherson. It's going to be incredible, man. I think you're going to see him get even better. In Ottawa, I mean, starting next season, I think Ottawa is really going to be a playoff team next season because they're going to fill out their roster more. They have to kind of work on their bottom six a bit. They might just need to get, like, one more, like, number four defenseman. This is a team that looks great, guys. Like, And Matt Sogard has come in and looked really good as well. And he's only, like, 22. The Sens have such a bright future. You know, it was the summer of Pierre. Now it's the spring of Pierre. They're locked and loaded for a long time. Let's look at some tape I got here. Yeah, right here. So Jacob Chikrin's defending the season has begun, and your team should trade for him. The Hockey PDO cast, funny enough. So this is something Dmitry Filipovich clipped himself. Let's look at some of uh, Chikrin's defense here. So like some transition defense uh, against top – no, who's number 90? I don't even know who that is. Yeah, see, like great work there on the stick. The force him to the outside. See, an active stick. That's what the, that's what we read, like, is an active stick. Another example right there, just getting it off and then able to generate that turnover in the neutral zone. See what he does there. Another active stick again. So even if he's behind in the play, because his north-south movement isn't necessarily the fastest, he has a smart stick. He knows how to not get penalized. Real smart player, Dallas, too, one of the better teams in the league. That's Jason Robertson he's on. Uses his stick, forces him to the outside, creates the turnover. Once again, so he gets caught out of position, but is able to use his physicality to get on the inside. You know, Ottawa fans are looking at this and like, whoa! It's like he's doing this against some of the best players in the league. 
even right there i don't even know is that who, what team what uniform is that oh no, that's the king's uniform yeah <laughs> i'm like what team has that color scheme same game it's like a chicken right there active stick forces it into the neutral zone arizona is able to transition it out now he gets deked right there by sam lafferty i think but is able to make up for that mistake force him to the outside and then he gets the puck back settles it down great work here florida panthers Settles it down. Let's see what he does. Gets that controlled zone exit. So see, like, even though, like, he can often, I guess when we're seeing from these clips, he'll, he'll let players kind of glide by him, but he's so confident with what he can do, even on TJ Brody right there, just easily is able to use his stick to take away that passing lane. Carolina, one of the best teams in the league, uses the body right there, gets the hit. He's a smart and effective hitter. He's not hitting and losing possession. He knows how to smartly time it. A smart pass right over there to Lawson Kraus. Michael Rasmussen, that guy's six foot six. Great work here. Here's a Vancouver, another hit right there. Again, forces the turnover, is able to get it back the other way for his partner, Shane Goss, to spare. From the same Canucks game, Quinn Hughes getting it out and that looked like it was more of his partner. I don't know what he exactly did there. It must have been a stick. And, oh, that stayed out of the net. They were celebrating. What did he do? Oh, look at his stick. Yeah, see, this guy must have the best. Like, I, I find it funny because there's this notion that Chikorin isn't good defensively. Look at these clips here, guys. He's a good defensive player. Even when he's out of position, he knows how to make up for it. There's no doubt in my mind that the Ottawa Senators have won this trade here, guys. I'll quickly pull up the uh, just the conditions, just to clarify it. Let's see if any trades have broke since this video started, because we know that could occur. There's probably already trades happening. No, there's not. We're good. We're good. So let me just pull it up right here. So these, this is telling me all the conditions. I want to see all the conditions. Is this it? Because, yeah, so trade alert. Uh... Because it, it shows the conditions somewhere. Okay, here's the conditions. There we go. Sends communications. So conditions. So the 2023 first-round pick is top five protected. If met, pick becomes a 2024 first-round unprotected. Additionally, should Sens reach 2023 Eastern Conference Finals, the second-round pick becomes a 2024 first-round top 10 protected. If that condition is met, the pick becomes 2025 first-round unprotected. So I don't think Ottawa's making the Eastern Conference Finals here, guys. So I, it really just seemed like it's just going to be a first and two seconds. And, you know, after just seeing what Philip Peronik went for, Chikrin only got one extra second round pick in 2026. Wow. Just wow, wow, wow. It's great work by the Senators right there. And they're a much better team because of it. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. As I'm Jordan Jacklin, the Sports Spectator.